Hello and welcome to Five News. I'm Isla Traquair. She was a mother who had the sympathy of the nation when her daughter disappeared on her way home from school. But today, for the first time, Karen Matthews has been accused of kidnapping and imprisoning nine-year-old Shannon in February this year. Well, Peter Lane is outside court and leads. Peter, a dramatic twist tonight. So, Peter, what happens next in this case? Darren Leeds, thank you for that. And this weekend, the Paralympic Games begin in Beijing, but five news can reveal the shocking treatment China gives to its own disabled people. They are ordered off the streets and face daily discrimination. And one hospital told us it was their policy to instantly abort unborn children who are found to have disabilities. Holly Williams reports. They say that sex sells. Well, if the European Parliament gets its way, that may not be the case for much longer. It wants to ban adverts that use scantily clad women or men to push products. We sent Simon for a little commercial breakdown. And let's talk to Andy Nair in St. Paul in Minnesota. Andy, you've been in America for the past few weeks speaking to people. Which candidate do you think the voters I think has? Jane, tell us more about the incident. Now, when England footballers take part in a World Cup, there's usually more glitz than glory. But this weekend, that could change as the under-12 team take on the world in Paris. Former international star Jamie Redknapp is the man in charge of the Beckhams of the Fear. And for the latest of our celebrity... Piercings, tattoos, thick black eyeliner. The image of a heavy metal fan is a rather intimidating one. But according to new research, headbangers are actually harmless. It seems fans of Metallica are not so different from followers of Mozart. We sent Ruth to investigate. <laughs> 